Hi, I'm Ziv Medor, VP of Security Research at Trustway. I have uh, more than 20 years of experience in uh, security R&D, research and development, uh, developing uh, different security technologies and solutions to help protect customers. At Trustwave, I manage the global security research team. It's a, a team of researchers, best of class, researching a very wide range of threats, malware, exploit, zero days, and many other um, threats that can affect organizations around the world. Spider Labs continually monitors the dark web and investigates the activity that happens there. The exact techniques I'm not going to discuss, but uh, we have enough presence there that allows us to understand exactly what cybercrime is carried out and what evolution of threats happens there. Sometimes it's a very useful information. Just to give you an example, a few years ago we found an unknown zero days for Microsoft Windows being sold on the underground uh, in one of those forms. The threat research we do can help us in many different ways. First of all, it helps us fully understand how cybercrime evolves. When there are new threats or new types of attacks, we get to know them and fully analyze them. Then we can improve our products and our services to fully protect against those attacks. Our SOC centers can better identify those attacks and breaches or threats. And in particular, services such as threat hunting and red teaming become more effective when they can use the threat intelligence we collect during that research. Our threat hunting services can help organizations proactively look for signs of breaches or potential compromises on their networks. As we all know, it can take very long time for organizations, around 200 days, to find an actual breach in, in their environment. And during that time, a lot of damage can happen. Data can be stolen. By using a proactive service such as threat hunting, they can decrease or minimize the risk of such breaches and uh, also learn how they can better protect their environment. For example, during those services, we can identify uh, servers or segments of their networks which are vulnerable, which are improperly configured, and help them make their environment in general more robust to attacks. Part of the threat hunting is around fully understanding the environment and how it's configured and looking for ways to make it more robust and immune to attacks. 